RJ, you, you flirted with a triple double tonight. Uh, we've seen a number of games where you, you know, you stuffed the stat sheet in a number of areas. You know, how much of that is progression with your 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 court vision, getting the to know some of your teammates, as well as using your your size and speed, you know, for various various assets of the game. Well, yeah, you said it. Uh, getting comfortable knowing my teammates. I think that's one of the biggest things when you, you know, find guys like a pass the ball is knowing your teammates' strengths. Um, you know, Mo is a great roller, great player guy. Uh, same with Mo Wagner. Uh, Dante is a great roller. We have a lot of spot-up shooters. So when I'm coming down the court, um, you know, I'm looking to get my teammates the ball first, looking for me seconds. So uh, they did their job tonight. Uh, hats off to them. We played hard. Um, that's all I can ask for as a, as a you know, point guard on the team. Josh Robbins, The Athletic. RJ, can you please describe some of the pride you take in your rebounding? For someone at your position, your numbers are in the uppermost area of the league. Yeah, I just think it's all about one. Um, you know, you don't have to be a, a center or a power forward to go get a rebound. Um, the name of the game is to have the ball and to put the ball in the basket. And, you know, we can't have the ball if you don't rebound. So uh, that's one thing I take pride in is going to get the ball from my team, you know, so we can score points. Paul Casanova, EDF Sports. Hello. Um, is there a tiny bit of you that kind of would like to see you extend the way you've progressed so far? Um, would you like it to just keep going in a way? And also, are you going to stick around Orlando in the offseason? Say that one more time. If it was loud back there, I couldn't hear anything. That's okay. Um, the way you have been progressing, do you feel like uh, maybe you want the season to keep going a little bit? Uh, yeah, you know, I would love to see this keep going. I would love to play more games, uh, figure out my teammates a little more, uh, get comfortable with the game uh, as, as much as possible. Um, but I think the second part of your question was staying around Orlando, and uh, that's something I'm definitely going to do. Uh, you know, I want this team to get to the highest level, and, you know, as a leader, uh, as, as part of leadership, you have to show lead by example. And if I'm in there every day working, uh, you know, I want my teammates to be in the way. Josh Robbins. RJ, in retrospect, how useful has your work with uh, last offseason with Mike Miller uh, helped you? In what ways? I think getting comfortable, you know, shooting the ball. Um, you know, you're going to have your you know ups and downs, uh, uh, of course, but uh, just getting a feel for, you know, shooting the ball at an NBA level, um, having the confidence as well. So um, anytime I'm open for a three, I'm going to take that. Um, I'm going to be confident in my shot. Uh, you know, he's helped me with that, you know, tremendously. Uh, and I've seen the growth over my NBA season. Um, so, you know, just continue to work with him uh, to get that better. Back to Dan Savage. RJ, you, you talked a little bit about getting comfortable with your, your teammates and, and that helping, you know, with some of the assist numbers. Just having a, a full off season to, to work with some of these guys and, you know, actually have some practice time like you haven't had this season. Just how useful will that be, especially for a guy in your position? Uh, I think it'll be very useful. Um, you know, I feel like I'm a, you know, a leader on this team and uh, I want to win. Uh, to win games, we all have to come together as a collective unit and, and do the things that it takes to win. So uh, I think it'll be very useful for us. Um, you know, you'll see a lot of growth uh, with, all, with a lot of the young guys that we have, including myself. It's going to be good for us to, you know, have this full off season and, you know, take it, take it to the next level uh, when the season comes around next year. Josh Robbins. To build on, on uh, Dan the Wolf's question, uh, what, uh, what value will having a full off season in terms of strength and conditioning have for you considering that you're only 20 you're you got you can maybe get even better in that area oh for sure uh, i definitely think that you know strength conditioning is going to be one of my biggest you know keys uh going into the off season uh you know it's definitely hard you know as the nba season you know goes on um when i wasn't playing with denver to get in shape you know always traveling always doing different things like that but you know playing shape that i've been getting in with orlando has been great for me uh, and just to build on that uh, this summer and get in the top shape to where I'm able to contribute at a high level uh, in every game next year. And, uh, as far as strength, you know, work with the you know the, the strength and conditioning staff here, um, do whatever I'm going to do in the off season, and you know, get bigger, faster, stronger, uh, just to you know, be impactful for the team. Go ahead, Dan. RJ, you're one of the guys that, that knows Gary Harris the best uh, around here. You know, just how valuable has his his veteran leadership been for you, you know, so far throughout your career? 
Um, yeah, that's my vet. You know, that's my OG. Uh, you know, he tells me what I need to hear, good or bad. Uh, and he wants me to succeed. Uh, he wants everyone to succeed. So uh, he's been very valuable for me uh, learning, you know, through him, you know, watching his previous games, watching him, you know, play on the court this year a lot uh, has helped me uh, in a way that, I, you know, I very much needed. Um, so I think my game has matured a lot um, by being around Gary uh, on and off the court. General thoughts uh, about that one. Well, they're great. <laughs> I mean, you know, they're an elite team, championship level, ton of talent. Uh, we shot the ball well in the first quarter. Uh, I think we were six for seven or six for eight from three. And uh, look, there were some good things. Uh, you know, they're really good, obviously. And that, that game was important to them. They came out, they were physical. Uh, first 12 minutes when we shot the ball well, we, we hung around and then you know, the second quarter when they really turned up their defense, it was a struggle. Go ahead, Dan. So we, we haven't asked you too much about him since he's been here, but but what have been your thoughts about Iggy and, and what, what he's brought to the, the team since since joining you guys? Yeah, the one thing that's hard is he's playing out of position. You know, he's playing the floor and he's really more of a wing player. Uh, so I think that's been difficult for him. You know, I mean, he's he's got size. He has a good feel for the game. Um, I've talked to him, and I think he could be a really versatile defender. Um, and, uh, you know, like tonight, he got off to a good start shooting the ball, and he can play, put the ball on the floor. So you can see he has NBA size, and uh, I think, you know, uh, I would say good IQ. Um, so he has some, you know, he has some things that he has going for him. Josh Robbins, The Athletic. Steve, when you look at your rookie players, particularly Cole and, and RJ, how much are they embracing uh, the opportunity to try to get better down the stretch of a season that st standings-wise is not gone your way? I think they've done a good job. Look, I, I know, I, I, again, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm just being realistic. Look, these games are hard. I mean, these teams, not, let's be honest, they're a lot better than we are. So it can make guys look like, they're not trying as hard. That's anything but the case, in my opinion. Um, when you start playing the, the teams that we've played here, this last stretch of games, where games are very meaningful, they're veteran players, and um, it's hard. Listen, one of the things where it's hard to evaluate uh, some of the guys is, I mean, I don't want to say, is they're out there with each other. You know, these guys would play a lot better if they were out there with... You know, Gary Harris, Otto Porter, James Ennis, and Michael Carter Williams. It'd be a lot easier, you know, and it's not. So that all that stuff, uh, uh, you know, in my opinion, is is what you have to evaluate when you look at it. Um, you know, against a team like this, I mean, not that we couldn't beat them. It's going to be hard. I mean, a lot of things would have to go our way.